Hey guys, I won't hold you up real long. I know you just want to get over and watch that hunting video. But I have to give you at least a couple seconds of backstory on this. Because when this was recorded, this is a big throwback video. And when this was recorded, it was not meant for other people to watch. Uh, my cousin Dave Gill had tagged out for the year and said, Hey, I want to try to get you shooting you know, a deer with a stone point on camera. And uh, he grabbed my like $79 camcorder and started following along. And... Uh, even upon shooting the video, which we were lucky enough to get, really, you know, in hindsight, we didn't even have a way to put it on the computer, let alone the internet. And so it took a lot of digging around and eventually finding this old footage and now being able to upload it and make a video at it for you all to see. Um, so anyway, let's get on over and uh, take a look at this video. But I tell you what, it was so cold this, this morning of this hunt. It was like eight degrees below zero. And, uh, and I pretty much did not want to get out of bed, and I am really glad I did, because this is what started almost all of this. It's not the first year I ever killed with a bow, but it was the first year I ever killed with a stone point. So this is a great memory, and you can see how new I am at it, the way I act and everything, and the excitement. And, uh, but uh, let's just get on over and uh, let you watch it for yourself. Well, I hope that's showing up. I think it does. That should be. Man with a stick bill. Yep. Stone point. A stone point. bone coming out and that thing. It splatted that point. Broke it off. You can see it broke this whole other side off right here. It's all flattened off. Huh. He must be carrying the other part still. Man. The huh? huh? Oh that blood spray's three foot wide here. Yeah. Is that the fletching end of it? Yep, that's the fletching end. He's not some huge rack thing, but that is a trophy with a stone point. That is for sure. Very nice. Went in right there, tight behind the front leg. Right where you want it, huh? Yeah, that looks like it's... That had to be a good hard shot there. That's a... That's a really good one. Well, and he only went... 70 yards, maybe. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't hit that far. Stone point did the trick, isn't it? Uh huh. That was a Texas chirp point. Been hunting with obsidian the whole time, and that arrow just flew so good. Had to switch over to it. It sure flew good. <laughs> yeah. enough. You can see that's what it looked like before. Of course, that's an obsidian one there. That size, that shape on a hardwood. Four shaft on a cane arrow. Not a not a real heavy arrow, but keep it under 15 yards, and well, you see what it does. Well, you can tell what an old video that is, but I tell you what, I'm really blessed. I didn't realize it at the time. How lucky I am to have some of these memories caught on camera to look back and share with you folks at home watching, and then also have for my kids to see when they get older. But everybody says, hey, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I tell you what, it's really important stuff. The more subscriptions we get, and they're free. All you gotta do is give them an email address, sign up for YouTube, and hit that subscribe button, because the more subscriptions we get, the more views, the more likes, the more comments, the better videos we can put out. That's how this works. So hit that subscribe button.